Hello, welcome to the OU Career Mentoring Network Training. Career Services and the OU Alumni Association have created a mentoring network that operates completely online. Over the past few years, this network has proven to be extraordinarily useful for students who understand the value of networking and seeking good advice. You have made an excellent decision by choosing to enroll in this program. So what are we hoping that you'll gain from this mentor program? Well, one of the things you will be able to do is to confirm areas of interest that you already have. If you are a pre-med major, you can contact doctors who have been practicing for several years and ask them questions about medical school, choosing a specialty, or starting a practice. If you are interested in nonprofit work, you can contact alumni who have founded and operated successful nonprofit organizations. By discovering what their jobs are really like, you will be able to know the skills necessary for success in those professions and start developing them now. For those of you who aren't yet sure what you'll be doing following graduation, this network offers a great opportunity to explore different fields. We encourage you to take advantage of the great depth and breadth of experience of the mentors on the network. Over 20 different industries are represented, from government to journalism, from education to law. Even if you think you know what you want to do, you may discover an interesting field that you had not considered before. Finally, we believe an equally valuable use of this network is to discover the things that you don't like. Maybe you have an idea of what you would like to do for a career, but after corresponding with a mentor, you find that their day-to-day -day activities are not something you find appealing. It's certainly better to discover that now than 10 years from now. Ryan Burge, an industrial engineering student who participated in the pilot version of this program said, this is definitely a great program. I networked with about 13 different mentors, from the CFO to Triton Capital, who I had breakfast with in Palo Alto, California, to a vice president at Blues Allen Hamilton, to the U.S. CEO of Deloitte Consulting. Believe me, if you want good advice, take advantage of this. You should contact two mentors each month, and their relationships are long-lasting. Based on his remarks, it's clear that Ryan utilized this network to the fullest. After graduating, Ryan signed up to be a mentor as well. Each month, you will be able to contact two new mentors, but after the first exchange of emails, you will have their contact information for the rest of your life. At the first of each month, the mentor contacts reset, and you can contact another two. One way to use this program to contact as many people over time as you're interested in but an equally good use of this program might be to contact only a few and develop meaningful relationships with them. When the OU Alumni Association started contacting people about becoming mentors, the response was overwhelming. Many alumni were excited about the opportunity to give something back to OU. As you can see, over 180 mentors have signed up and are anxious to answer your questions. There are also nearly 500 students signed up, so be aware that contacting mentors earlier in the month, once they reset, will give you a better chance of contact. If that mentor reaches their max contacts, you have the next month to try again. Several mentors have been known to go a step further, suggesting a phone call or a get-together over lunch. Feel free to take advantage of these opportunities if the mentor offers. Make sure you agree in advance on the length of time for a meeting so you aren't taking advantage of the mentor's time. One important thing with networking is being prepared. Do your research. You will waste yours and the mentor's time by asking questions you can find on the company website. Ask intelligent questions and prepare them in advance. Now we will go over a few of the do's and don'ts for the network use. First, do not forward your mentor's contact information to other students. While our mentors are eager to offer advice, many of them lead busy professional lives and only have time to mentor a few students. Most mentors only allow two new students to contact them each month. If there is a mentor who has already reached their contact limit for a particular month, they will be available at the start of the next month. With persistence, you will be able to contact all the mentors you desire. Second, do not ask your mentor for an internship or job. This network was not created as a job search, but rather for students to seek advice from successful professionals. At the same time, however, some of the alumni on the network are in a position to offer jobs and internships, 
and have done so in the past, but you should never be the one to initiate this conversation. Third, do not pester your mentor with emails, calls, or mailings. Remember that less is more in some cases. Again, the mentors on this network are excited to be a part of this program, but we must still be mindful of their time. You will be able to gauge your mentor's availability based on the promptness of their first response, and you should adjust your emailing patterns from there on. Try to keep your messages to a reasonable length and avoid overloading them with questions. To review, there are three no's. First, do not forward your mentor's contact information to other students. Second, do not ask your mentor for an internship or job. And third, do not pester your mentor with emails, callings, or mailings. Now we'll discuss a few things that you should do in corresponding with your mentors. First, be sure to share your career aspirations and future goals. By explaining your current situation, you establish a more personal bond with your mentor than if you were just asking questions. Also, the more your mentors know about you, the better he or she will be able to advise you. Many of the mentors on the network are eager to assist students any way they can, so be ready to answer the question, how can I help you? Second, share your experiences from campus leadership activities, study abroad, and community service. Mentors love to hear about what life is like for current students at OU. By discussing your community and campus involvement, you may discover links between yourself and your mentor. At the same time, Try to focus on your most important activities, the ones that define who you are. Keep in mind also that most alumni aren't familiar with campus acronyms. PLC, CAC, PCS probably don't mean as much to them unless you explain what they are. More than anything, your mentor will remember you by the quality of questions that you ask. Questions that can be easily answered by browsing the company website will be both boring for your mentor and not that beneficial for you. What a website can tell you is what a typical day is like for your mentor, or whether you should go to graduate school instead of pursuing a job. These mentors are special resources. Use them to get information you wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. Here are a few examples of questions you might ask. But remember, these should not be copied and pasted right into an email. In order to establish a relationship, your questions should apply to your personal situation. Some of these questions might make sense for you and others maybe not. The last thing you want is to have your mentor feel like he's receiving a questionnaire or a survey. Having said that, here are a few things that you might ask. If you were starting to launch your career today, what steps would you take? What do you do in a typical day? What entry-level jobs do you recommend and why? How important is graduate school in your industry? What do you like most and least about your job? Did you take any specific steps to get where you are today? What types of projects do you work on? What types of projects do entry-level employees work on? Fourth, send a handwritten thank you note after the first exchange of emails. Being thanked in an email is nice, but nothing beats a handwritten note. In this day and age, mentors will be impressed that you took the time to send a note. Complimentary stationery is available in the Career Services office for this. Fifth, proofread all correspondence before sending it to your mentors. If you use an email account that doesn't have a spell checker, write your correspondence in Word and paste it into your email. Don't allow sloppy mistakes to affect your mentor's impression of you. Write with care and read everything over before you send it to make sure it makes sense. Remember, when you contact mentors, you're serving as a representative of this university. To review, first, practice your elevator speech. Share your career aspirations and goals, as well as your experiences from campus leadership, activities, community service, or study abroad trips. Second, listen and ask intelligent questions. That's what the mentors will remember. Third, send a handwritten thank you after the first exchange. And finally, proofread all correspondence before sending it to your mentors. Now we'll move on to the next part of the training, how to use the online mentoring program. You must first activate your Hire Sooner account and complete the questionnaire. 
Please note that the Career Mentoring Network requires an active Hire Sooner account. Go to www.hiresooner.com. If you have not already activated your account with OU Career Services, please do so here. Otherwise, you will not be able to access the Career Mentoring Network. Click on the red Hire Sooner Login button at the top right. If you already have an active Hire Sooner account, log in by entering your OU 4 plus 4 and your Hire Sooner password. If this is your first time to log in, enter your OU 4 plus 4, click the Forgot Your Password link at the bottom of the page. A temporary password will be emailed to you and then you will be able to log in. If you are logging in to Hire Sooner for the first time, you will need to complete your profile and submit it. Please fill in all the sections with the required information in the fields marked with an asterisk and then click Save. Remember, filling out all the fields in your profile can better assist you in the job search process. Next, you will click the survey link in the task list box and answer the questions. Once you've received notification that you've completed the survey questions, we will activate the Mentor Search tab. It will appear at the top of the menu bar. Now that your information is in the system, you can begin the process of matching yourself with your potential mentors. Move your cursor over the mentor search and click. Please fill in the applicable criteria for what you're looking for in a mentor and click search. If your search results cannot find a mentor with your criteria, use more generalized criteria as shown in the slide and click search. A list will now appear on the screen of all possible alumni mentors in your field of interest. In this case, we're looking at mentors for students with strong interest in law. Choose an alumni mentor to see his or her profile. If you feel this mentor suits your interest, move your cursor over the contact mentor and click. If the mentor doesn't appear to be a good choice in terms of your interest, Go back to the list, choose another mentor, and review their profile. After selecting Contact Mentor, a browser window will appear advising you on how many mentors you can access for the remainder of the month. If you're not sure you want to continue and contact this mentor, select No and go back to the list and continue profiling other mentors. Otherwise, select Yes and you're on your way to a new and meaningful relationship with one of OU's prestigious alumni mentors. If you're watching this presentation and have any questions about the Career Mentoring Network, please contact Career Services at OUCS at OU.edu. Congratulations and welcome to the OU Career Mentoring Network.